Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Tally Faye. I hope everybody's had them a good day today. It sure has been a pretty day out there. Hot and muggy and stuff, but a beautiful summer day. What a blessing, right? I, I feel that way anyway. Uh, I'm just thankful, y'all. I'm working on some stuff in here today. And this that I'm working on today, y'all, is something that I have... I've never made this. Uh, I've definitely never eaten one. And I'm not even sure if I'm gonna like this. But what it is, is I'm gonna make two, I've got two recipes of this. My sister-in-law has a recipe she wants me to make of it that she found at a little old cafe up in Marshall, Texas. And I just don't have the ingredients to make that one in particular. But I do have the ingredients to make this this one's a little more simplified as far as ingredients and stuff like spices and cheeses and that kind of thing. But all I need for this one is cheddar cheese, regular old sharp cheddar cheese. I need a pound of it, y'all. And some of this shaker Parmesan cheese. That's all I need for the cheese in this one, okay? So I've got everything set up and ready. And the very first thing we gotta do is bake us a pie crust, okay? And I wanted to show y'all what I'm gonna do. Now these recipes, every one of them call for like fresh herbs, chopped up and put on them and all that. And I, I do love fresh herbs and everything. But I tell y'all over and over that Buzz and I are not big on real strong tasting um, Italian seasonings like oregano and thyme and sage and all that stuff put together, you know, with it and everything. If we use it, I mean, it's just gotta be a hint of it. But what I have discovered that I can use in place of that, and this girlfriend bought this for me off Amazon or something, but it's a pizza, a big old jug of pizza seasoning. And see and look, it's got all that stuff in there. It's just not as pungent, okay? And this is what I'm gonna use in place of that. So like for this recipe in particular, you just use Italian seasoning how you want to use it, okay? Unless you got you some pizza seasoning and want to try it the tally fay way, okay? Another thing, what I'm doing, let me get my stool out of the way. What I'm doing is I'm frying up. I'm fixing to bake my pie crust first, and I am also frying me up some uh, four pieces of bacon over here because I want to get them fried, crispy, so I can crumble them. And y'all, I know it's a long ways off, but a lot of people keep asking me what this thing is. I don't think I can, yeah, I can. What this thing is sitting on my stove. Y'all, this is a heavy cast iron. It's a bacon press. It's a bacon press. And I put it on top of my bacon when I'm cooking my bacon in there and it sets down flat on it and you use it for, it's great for making hamburgers and stuff. And I use it for a lot of things. If I'm searing some meat or something, you know, I just set it down on there and let it, it really, puts that pressure on it, makes it happen fast, right? And, but more than anything, it's for keeping my bacon from curling up. But anyway, that's what that thing is. So many of you have asked me that. Anyway, I'm frying four pieces of bacon. I got that going. We're fixing to bake our crust. My, pie, uh, my oven is preheated at 400 degrees right now, right? So the very first thing I wanna do, I've got my crust in here, right? Okay, can y'all see it? And I got me some holes poked in it and all that. I'm gonna take a little bit of this seasoning. Let me sprinkle it out of my hand. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna sprinkle it down here on my crust like, right? Sprinkle it all over my crust there. Like I say, I can use this pizza seasoning and it doesn't bother me as much with the, uh, you know, the all the Italian stuff in it. Now I'm gonna take my fingers and kind of push it down in the dough, right? Okay? Just kind of press it down in there like. I just sprinkled me a little bit on there. You put however much you want. Now see, you can do this with your Italian seasoning if you want to. Okay? There we go. I probably wouldn't do it with my fresh herbs because they might burn or something on there. But if you got the dry Italian seasoning and you do it, you could do exactly what I'm doing here, okay? So we're gonna get this in the oven and get it baked. And in the meantime, I am going to get my bacon uh, through frying up four pieces so I can crumble them. 
And I, then I'm going, I'm fixing to grind up, grate up this uh, one pound block of sharp cheddar cheese, okay? You want the sharp cheddar. I need a one pound block of it. I'm fixing to use my little trusty grater here and grate it up because it's so much better than the bag, y'all, okay? So let's get that done and we'll go to the next step. I'll show you what we got to do with our tomatoes. Alrighty, my, my pie crust is over there baking and um, I've got my cheese grated up, so I'm gonna set that to the side. Now, the next thing I wanna do, y'all, is I have, I went ahead, oh, I need one medium onion chopped up. So what I gotta do there is in my bacon drippings, I'm gonna saute this onion. That's all I'm gonna do, okay? If you got a lot of grease in there, you might wanna pour some of it out, but otherwise, just, you can use that, okay? But saute your onion, one medium onion chopped up. I'm gonna let that be sauteing while we're working on this other stuff. That's simple enough. I don't have to show y'all how to do that, right? Other than slinging it out on the floor. <laughs> okay, so that's sauteing. But now, on the tomatoes, you have to have two pounds, and I didn't know how many that was, y'all. Because the tomatoes are different sizes lots of times. But I got Buzz's scale. And, of course, I'm holding it. But anyway, I've got I've got two pounds of tomatoes here. And that ended up being one, two, three, four, five of these nice, like, perfect size ones, right? You know, they're, they're the perfect size. That's the best way I know to tell you if you want to kind of just say, well, how many is that? Well, it's five regular size tomatoes, okay? We gotta take them and we gotta slice them up and get some of that juice out of them. So, I'm gonna get me some uh, parchment paper. Let me run get that. Okay, so I got my parchment paper. Now this is the pan I'm gonna use to uh, put these tomatoes in the oven on, on this on this rack when I get ready. But first off, I wanna take my, I'm gonna take this piece of parchment paper here and just put it over that because we have got to slice these tomatoes, y'all. Okay, aren't they beautiful? Look at that. They're so beautiful and red. Now's the perfect time. Y'all, I have never in my life, I hadn't even heard of such things as a tomato pie until here this past, I don't know, probably the past six months or so or something. Nine months. Anyway, I'd never even heard of it. And, uh, y'all know I'm not one to be scared, right? <laughs> I want to try it. So we're going to call this tomato pie number one because I want to make that recipe that uh, my sister-in-law sent me. But I got to go, I got to be able to get the ingredients and stuff for that. But this shows you that you can still make them with pretty much what you, this one you can make with stuff that you generally have already in your kitchen. Right? Uh, you have this stuff. More than likely. Okay, my onions are sauteed enough. I'm just gonna let them sit there. Let's get to slicing these tomatoes, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna move his little scale out of the way there. And now we gotta slice them. I am just too far off, aren't I? Let me see if I can do something different there. Try something different. Let's see. I can at least get you up there. Okay, that's at least better. All right, get this little belly button off of him. I just wanna do that. That end right there, I'm gonna take it. Ooh, look at that beautiful meat. Oh what, my goodness, I'm wanting a salt shaker. <clears throat> it's gonna be tough. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna take them. and I'm just gonna slice them in some beautiful little slices here, right? Do it just like this, okay? I'm gonna take them and put them on this parchment paper and I'm gonna let them start draining on that. I want them to drain on it. We've gotta get this juice, the juice out of these tomatoes because they will make it all soggy in there. That's one of the main deals, apparently, with making tomato pie. So we're going to get these sliced up, do our little thing with them here. 
get them on the parchment paper on that rack and I'm just gonna let them sit there. And then when we get our pie crust out of the oven, we're going to put our tomatoes in there, y'all. And let that oven take care of some process for us. Look at that. I'm gonna try to get all of them on here. This is a big old nice cookie sheet. So I ought to be able to do it. But that's what I'm doing. Look at them just like that, okay? I'm gonna lay them across here and we're gonna sprinkle some salt on them. But let me get them all cut up and laid out. Okay, so I've got my pie crust out sitting over there cooling. And y'all, I'm just taking me a paper towel and actually pressing on them on this parchment paper and getting that liquid out of them, okay? See, I'm just pressing on them like that. I'm getting as much of that liquid out as I can, that juice out of them as I can. Do it like that. The oven's preheated on 400, and we're fixing to put them in there, y'all, for 15 minutes, it says. 15 minutes. We're going to do it. We're making this recipe together, okay? This is one we're, this is teamwork, okay? I'm counting on y'all to root for me with it. We gon we trying this out together. We ain't going to be scared. We're going to try this booger. A tomato pie. I ain't never heard of such. And I pulled that up, and my goodness, there's all kind of recipes for it. And I was like, well, I'll swanny. I didn't know. I did not know. So we're going to try this one because this one is obviously made with more simplified ingredients, which y'all know is most of my cooking. So we're going to do this with tomato pie number one. And then next week we'll make, I don't know if I can wait that long on the tomatoes because they're getting all, you know, about to come to an end. So anyway, in the next few days or so, we'll make tomato pie number two with my sister-in-law's recipe that she found. So, okay, so I've absorbed a lot. That thing is full of liquid, y'all. Uh, I've absorbed a lot of that liquid. So I'm just gonna take this, slide it off of here, and I'm gonna put them just like this on this, on this rack. You know, if you ain't got the rack, I'd just leave them on the parchment paper and let them bake. Or whatever you want to call it, whatever it's doing. It's in the oven, I guess that's baking. It's roasting them something, right? So I'm just getting this. And y'all, they are still very juicy. They are very juicy. They're beautiful tomatoes. They're supposed to be juicy, right? But you want the beautiful ripe ones for these recipes, apparently. Every one of my scenes says that, too, that you want beautiful ripe tomatoes. Okay. I'm going to put that in the trash. And we're fixing to put these in the oven for 15 minutes on 400 degrees. And uh, while that's going on, well, we got to let them cool a little bit, I think it says. Let me look. Uh, sliced tomatoes. Oh, i got to salt them for 15 minutes. Set them aside. Yep. And then we're going to lower our oven to 350 to bake the whole pie thingy. So, uh, let's get some salt on them, y'all. I'm going to get some salt. I'm glad I looked at that or I would have forgot that. Okay, just salt them down. Oh my goodness, don't you want to just pick one up right now? Knowing that good salt's on it like that and they're all beautiful. And <laughs> you know they're delicious. Oh goodness. Okay, we got them salted now. Now in the oven, 400 degrees, 15 minutes. All right, it's been 15 minutes. We're going to take them out of there, y'all. Let me get my little hot pad holders. Take them out and set them right here on this board. 
And now I gotta turn my oven down to 350. Okay? Okay, so I've dropped my temperature to 350. Now, it says take your tomatoes out and just set them aside. We've done that. There they are, setting aside. Now we need us a bowl. And this is where we're gonna mix up our mixture, y'all. So, we need our cheese. We're gonna go ahead and put our grated pound of cheddar cheese in there, okay? Our cheese. We've got that in there. Our bacon, which we cooled, let you let it cool, and then crumbled it, okay? So there's our four pieces of bacon, cooled and crumbled. Our onions that I sauteed are cooled. I didn't want them hot neither, so they're in there. There's that. And now we need Mayonnaise, how much mayonnaise did it call for? A half a cup of mayo. Let me get Okay, we're gonna get us, can y'all see it? There we are. Where's my little spoon? We need us a half a cup of mayo. Okay. Half a cup of mayo going in. Real mayonnaise, not Miracle Whip, okay? All right, real mayonnaise there, half cup. Now, comes our spices. We need Half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Half a teaspoon of salt. There's that. Okay, we need a teaspoon of black pepper. I ground me some up to that should be Pretty close, it is, there we go. I'm gonna do it just like that, y'all. A teaspoon now of black pepper. That's done. All right, next thing we want, what's it say? Pepper, uh, mayonnaise. Okay, it calls for like a, a, a pinch, a big pinch of Italian seasoning. Now, okay, I'm gonna use Tickle. <clears throat> that pepper's getting to me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take me a teaspoon. Because I think that's what it said. I don't know why I have a pinch wrote down on there. But it's probably calling for, you know, a, a teaspoon. Let me shake it in there and see what I think. I'm not going to put that whole thing in there, y'all. Just cause. But... <coughs> Do you, you know, up to a teaspoon, whatever you want to put in there. You'd probably, most people will probably like a, a teaspoon of your Italian seasoning in there, of the dried ones. So, like the fresh ones, you just chop them up and put them in there like you'd really, you know, just kind of eyeball it, right? Okay. Oh, my goodness, that pepper, y'all, is getting to me. Let me get a drink of coffee. Woo! Maybe that'll stop that pepper. Okay. Ah. All right, there's our black pepper. Let me get it back down here. Our black pepper. Garlic powder. We need a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. I can handle that. All right, teaspoon of garlic powder. That's in there. Okay. Get that and that. This is for sprinkling on our... Tomatoes, and this is for the top. 
Okay, I think we have everything in there that we're supposed to stir up. So, I'm gonna get a rubber spatula to stir this. It says to stir it gently. I guess it don't want you tearing up all your onions and stuff or whatever, I don't know. We're just gonna mix that up. I bet all of y'all probably have eaten tomato pies and I'm the only person in the world that didn't even know about them. That's just something I just ain't never heard of. I don't know. Okay. It's got all our seasonings in there. Cheese and onion and uh, bacon. Okay. Now, we've got to split this in half, y'all, because we're going to put half of it in the bottom and half in the, anyway, do layers. So, I'm going to pretty much say that's done in half, okay? Let me get that out of my way a minute. Because I want to show you. Where is it at? Look at here. Look how pretty that looks doing that on the crust. Huh, I think so. Anyway, okay, we're gonna take our first half of our cheese mixture. We're gonna spread it in the bottom of this dish of our pie, pie crust, okay? And spread that out in there. Okay, now we're gonna take, we're gonna do half of our tomatoes, just like this, y'all. What have I got there? One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm gonna try to <laughs> do it like this so I know I've got the same amount. Something on that order, right? What do y'all think? I know they look pretty. I know that much. Okay. So what we're gonna do is take a little bit of our seasoning. Oh, that's what I was gonna tell y'all. The recipe calls for uh, one teaspoon of crushed red pepper in it. Okay, now if I was using Italian seasoning, I would put the crushed red pepper in there and that was supposed to go in the uh, in your mixture. I forgot to say that. That was supposed to go in your mixture. But because I'm using this pizza seasoning, it has the crushed red pepper in it already, and I'm good with that. But if you're not using a pizza seasoning that has crushed red pepper in it, you want a teaspoon of that with your Italian seasoning and when you are stirring up your uh, cheesy mixture, okay? But anyway, so now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to sprinkle some of this on top of my tomatoes. Just like this, right? Okay. You put however much you want to. That's all that amounts to. And now I've got me some shaker Parmesan cheese. I call it shaker cheese. All right. It just so happens this is the one with the spice. I like it. But I'd use whichever one I had. Now, I'm going to take me some of this this shaker parm and shake it on top of these tomatoes, okay? Now, time for our next. You're just gonna repeat. So 
Let me get it on here. I don't know if it's any good, y'all, but it sure looks like a pretty thing. I bet it really looked pretty if you had the, like, the real, uh, 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 fresh herbs with it and stuff. I know it'd be pretty like that and everything. I just don't have all that stuff. Only thing I get grow, y'all, is deal. And knowing me, I'd put that on here. <laughs> uh, okay. I got it spread out. Last thing. A row of maters on there, y'all. Here we go. Get them on there all pretty looking. Hopefully. Hopefully. this is fun i hope this video ain't too long for y'all okay all right now a little bit more of our seasoning right go with that however much you want on it some shaker palm And last thing I'm gonna do is a little pinch of paprika sprinkled on top of there. Just come across it with some paprika on it. There's our pie, y'all. So now, the oven has been, the, it, we dropped the temperature to 350, right? So it says we're gonna leave it in there for 20 minutes or until bubbly. So, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to put it in the oven at 350, 20 minutes, or until it gets good and bubbly all in, in it. So, we'll be back. All right. So, I left it in there for 25 minutes, y'all. I kept waiting to see it bubble. But I couldn't, maybe a couple times I seen it bubble around the edges a little bit and everything. But I wanted to go ahead and take it out in there. I, like I said, I put it in there. And left it in there rather for 25 minutes rather than 20. So you, you know, you got to play with that, right? It said 20 minutes or until bubbly. So anyway, I left it in there for 25 minutes and I took it out. But I sure do think it's pretty, y'all. I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think. Let me see if I can get hold of it right here like this. Yeah, this little pie plate has the handles on it. Y'all look. Look at that. I think it's pretty. I don't know. We gonna find out, y'all. Look at that. How fun is that, anyway? <laughs> I don't know. Me and Buzz are gonna taste of it, and we'll let y'all know. We'll do a taste test. I'll make him come in here and taste of it. Maybe I can. I don't know. But anyway, but it, uh, the other thing it says, though, is to let it cool down before you try to slice it. So I'm gonna let it sit here and cool. I know it smells delicious. I think it looks very tasty. I'm, I'm excited about tasting of it. I have no idea, though. You know, this is going to be tomato pie number one, y'all. We're going to find out because we still going to do tomato pie number two, whether we like this one or not. And then that way, Buzz and I will know if we like tomato pies. Okay? You know, we'll find it out together, all of us. All right. We'll be back after a while when it cools down and, and we decide to get us a slice and taste of it. Okay, so I've let it cool off. I mean, it's still warm, right? Because I want a taste of it warm, right? I reckon you're supposed to. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to try to cut into it and see, see what happens here, y'all. I have no idea what it's going to do. What am I going to do here? I'm gonna, let me cut it right here. 
I bet the first piece don't come out pretty. It hardly ever does, right? Let's see if I can get a fork under it. Oh my goodness. Okay, y'all look. Turn it up a little bit. But there's what it looks like on the inside. Okay, all right. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> here we go. <laughs> here we go. Take me a bite of it. Dang, that's pretty good, y'all. I'm gonna make Buzz take a bite of it. He don't wanna be on camera. He's been outside working with his fishing line. Here. Okay, I'll come take that. All right. Go on and get you some, baby. See what you think of it. I don't like it. Oh, absolutely. Huh? Absolutely. That's good, That's ain't good. it? I need it. I'm surprised. Woohoo! We got a hit, y'all. <laughs> that is awesome. Ooh, I'm gonna take another bite. That's funny, y'all, because I'm kind of weird about tomatoes. Is good baby all right there we go fist, <laughs> fist pump <laughs> that's great big old fist bump boom <laughs> hey that was fun y'all I'm sorry the video is a little bit long but it was something good right look let me do it like this let's see Y'all look down in there. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I like, really like this. I'm surprised, baby. I am tickled. This was a pleasant surprise to me. Y'all have got to try this recipe. Okay? Try that. That is good. This is tomato pie number one. Okay? We'll make another one with a different recipe here in a few days coming up because me and Buzz are gonna eat this booger. I already know that right now. We're gonna eat this with a salad and stuff. Mm, mm, mm. That's gonna be good. Hey, I love y'all. Thank y'all for everything. And I hope everybody's doing good and having a good evening and, and everybody's well. And if you're not, then I'll just keep you in my prayers and just I just love y'all, and I thank you for everything, man. Uh, I'm just a blessed person, and, and I'm so thankful. God is good, okay? I love y'all. Uh, y'all take care of each other, and uh, stay blessed. And I'll see you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.